Hi, I'm Dr. David Geyer. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education and commentary on injuries and injury treatment and injury prevention for athletes and for active people, much like yourself, so that you can uh, stay healthy and perform your best in sports and exercise and in life. Uh, today we're not going to talk about sports or exercise per se. I want to talk about sitting and sitting too much. Now this is a chair, a rocking chair recliner that I've had for maybe six or seven years, eight years or so, and I absolutely love it. I spend probably 15, 20, maybe 30 hours a week in this chair. It's where I write my newspaper columns and I write my uh, articles for my website and plan my podcast discussions and do um, video chats for Sports Medicine University. It may be 60 or 90 90 minutes of work before I go into the office or to surgery, or it may be a few hours at night getting work done after I come home from work. But I spend a lot of time sitting in this chair. But I realize that's not necessarily a good thing. I try to make myself get up uh, at least every hour, if not more often. And I have a couple of ways that I make myself do that. I have this Apple Watch that I've had now for a couple months and I have it set so that it reminds me, I think it's at the 50 minute point uh, every hour. If I've been sitting that whole hour, it, it clicks basically or, or taps me to say, hey, get moving, get up and move around for a few minutes. I also use an app on my phone called Focus Time that basically uh, I set to basically go off every 45 minutes. So I start it, I work really hard for 45 minutes and then it vibra or it has this really awful buzzing bell type of sound um, and it tells me it's time to get up and move around. Whether or not I'm mid-sentence or really uh, brainstorming and great stream of consciousness and creativity, uh, it's time to get up and get moving. Now why do I put so much effort into making sure that I get up and that I get around moving. Well, if you watch you know, the mainstream news media, I'm sure you've seen a health expert talk about uh, the risks of sitting too much and they now are calling it the new smoking. It's really, really bad and there's really five main uh, types of risks that sitting too much can kind of cause. And so I want to talk real quickly uh, and share uh, those five health risks that really every adult should keep in mind if they, whether or not they uh, sit for long, long periods of time at work or they come home from work and want to watch TV. The first thing is that sitting for long periods of time we know causes or is associated with a number of chronic medical conditions. Obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, even cardiovascular disease. That's right, heart disease even from sitting for too long a time. Basically your blood uh, flow sluds, slows down throughout your body, you're not burning the fatty acids and it leads to uh, an elevated risk of heart disease. Another thing that's a, a, a real risk with sitting too much is that it can slow your brain function. I don't know if you've been sitting at work and late in the afternoon you've been sitting all day and you struggle to concentrate and, and get tasks done that you really should be able to do pretty quickly. We think that sitting for long periods of time plays a role in that. It may be part of the uh, risk that we think people with sedentary jobs, maybe they have a higher risk for mental health issues. So definitely you can improve your mental function, your brain function by getting up and moving around periodically. Now the third type of risk is really something that is in my world, in the orthopedic surgery world. We know that physical activity, especially weight bearing physical activity like walking, like jogging, like lifting weights, improves bone strength, it makes the bone stronger, it improves the bone density. So if you sit for long periods of time, then your bones are going to get weak. We also know that sitting for long periods of time increases your risk for herniated discs in your lower back. And we know that low back pain is a real problem in this country. So that may be a way to try to prevent low back pain is to get up and move around. The fourth type of risk, and we don't really know why this, uh, what the actual link is, but we know that people that sit for long, long periods of time every day have an elevated risk of cancer. Uh, breast cancer, colon cancer, endometrial cancer, those uh, people that sit for long periods of time have a higher risk of cancers than people that are active throughout the day. The last type of risk, and probably the scariest, is that people that sit for long periods of time have a higher mortality risk. Yes, they have an increased chance of dying. If you compare people that watch TV for three or four hours a day compared to people that do it for less than an hour a day, the, the mortality risk is much higher in the group that watches TV and basically is sitting. 
Here's the scary part to remember though with those five types of risks. So even if you, you have to do it for your job, you do a lot of paperwork and you have to sit for long periods of time, even if you do that and you come home after sitting for eight or nine hours a day and you come home and you go exercise for 30 or 60 minutes, that exercise is great, don't get me wrong, we think that's a good thing, but that exercise does not overcome the health risks from sitting. It's good, but it's not getting rid of the problems from sitting so much. So I'm not telling you not to exercise, but we have to fix the sitting problem. So, you know, it could be even two minutes an hour getting up, moving around, maybe doing push-ups or jumping jacks or burpees or going to walk uh, with your friends at work. We need to do more uh, to get active and not sit so much to avoid all those health risks. So I want to know what you do. I mean, maybe you have a treadmill desk or a standing desk, or maybe you feel like you could or you should have one of those. Or maybe you go for walks uh, or outside the office building with coworkers at lunch or after work. Let me know what you do. Go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com, uh, and leave a comment. I would love to hear what you do. You've heard uh, some of the steps I take, but I'd love to hear what you guys do. Now, if you like this video and you want more videos on injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention, subscribe to the video channel here, and you'll get videos like these every week. And I'd be so grateful if you'd share this video with your friends so they can learn more about the health, health risks of sitting. Now the last thing, if you like this type of information and you want more information and more resources to help you stay healthy and perform your best, subscribe to my free email newsletter. You can go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com, and I will share, like I said, on a weekly basis, maybe more than weekly, some resources, some tips, some things you can do to stay healthy and perform your best. And thank you so much for for watching this. I hope it was helpful. And since I've now been sitting for a long period of time, I'm going to get up and go. But I'll see you right back here next time. Thanks.